Metal Peace Walker, the newest installment in the Metal Gear Solid franchise. I was so excited to get this game that I bought both the Special Edition and the Big Boss Edition PSP. I got it! I got my Metal Gear stuff. Hey babe, check this out. Got my Big Boss PSP. I got the Special Edition. Look how big this thing is. I thought it was a strategy guy when I first got it. Peace Walker is the second Metal Gear Solid game to be on the PSP and to be canon to the MGS storyline. But unlike Portable Ops, the previous MGS title on the PSP, this game was directed personally by the creator of the franchise, Hideo Kojima. Now I know what you're thinking. How is the game? Is it as good as Portable Ops? No, Peace Walker is better. Not only is Peace Walker more superior to Portable Ops in every single way, but the gameplay was just as good as the console games, which in my opinion was a major improvement from the Portable Ops crippled controls. In this game, you move with the analog stick and use the triangle, square, circle, and X buttons to control the camera due to the PSP only having one analog stick. This might feel weird at first, but it's easy to get used to and improves the gameplay a great deal. The directional pad is used for the action and item equip buttons, and the top L and R buttons are used for aiming and shooting. To me, the control layout feels a little like MGS4, and I think that's a good thing. Also, not only does Peace Walker play like a console game, but the cussings are just as good as well. Snake! Big Boss, you made it. Too late, though. The false state is already in place. False data. That's right. Peace Walker is designed for deterrence. Nothing more. She is incapable of initiating a nuclear attack on her own. She will only awaken and attack when it's time to retaliate. Peace Walker is a weapon of peace, after all. Unlike Portable Ops, Peace Walker has longer cutscenes and dialogue. But just like Portable Ops, the cutscenes still have the drawn art style. This time, however, the pictures are more animated and looks absolutely beautiful. Plus, some of the cutscenes are even interactive and allows you to either fight or shoot some things by pressing the correct buttons when they're shown. Sort of like God of War. Peace Walker is nothing short of excellent. It follows the events after Snake Eater and Portable Ops. Big Boss now has his own personal army and works with a young Master Miller. Thank you, Big Boss. Call me Snake. Um, uh, sorry, Big Boss. Listen up. For us, there is no victory. But in revolution, doesn't one triumph or die? We don't do either. Snake or Big Boss, whatever you want to call him, goes into Costa Rica to investigate. He finds out that there is not just one, but four types of Metal Gears that use artificial intelligence called Mammal Pods to operate. And apparently, one of these Mammal Pods was designed to think that it's Snake's former mentor, the Boss. She betrayed America. She stole the Davy Crockett and then defected to the other side. She used an American nuclear weapon to attack Soviet territory. The only way for Washington to prove its innocence to Moscow was to eliminate the traitor themselves. The boss's death was the only thing that could have prevented all-out nuclear war. But I'm not going to say any more. You'll have to play it for yourself. But I will say this. The story for Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker is epic. Absolutely one of the best in the Metal Gear franchise. The biggest new feature to Peace Walker is the co-op mode. That's right. For the first time ever in Metal Gear history, you can play the game with a friend. Be careful. I see a sniper directly south from where you're at. I see him. I see him. You think you can get a clear shot on him? Or do you want me to get him? No, I can't. I can't get a clear shot from where I'm at. You're going to have to take them out. When I played the game, I did it all on co-op. And to tell you the truth, it was awesome. I had a blast playing through the game with my friends and family. You can play through the entire game with two-player co-op and during the boss battles, play up to four players. And that's a good thing, because some of the boss battles are pretty damn hard. God damn it! Fucking Peace Walker is so fucking hard! He's kicking our ass all over the place. You two look like you could use some help. Big boss? 
Call me Snake. I'll help you two take down Peace Walker. Certainly won't be the first time our paths cross. Aside from the great co-op gameplay, Peace Walker is also a game that keeps on giving. Peace Walker offers tons of extra modes such as Outer Ops, which allows you to deploy groups of soldiers, tanks, and even a Metal Gear to fight and capture opposing enemy threats. Extra Ops, which is standalone solo missions to play through the main storyline. And finally, Verse Ops, which is basically online multiplayer. To be honest guys, I haven't played the Verse Ops yet, but basically it's like deathmatch, you know, team deathmatch, stuff like that. At least that's what I think. You know, I, like I said, I haven't played it yet and I do apologize for that. Overall, Peace Walker is an awesome game and is definitely worth the money. It isn't the best in the Metal Gear franchise, but definitely one of the best in the series. And I personally think it's the best PSP game ever to come out. But that depends really on the gamer's taste in games. I, for one, am really happy with this game, and I really hope that Metal Gear Solid Rising delivers just as much as Peace Walker did. Until next time, guys, I'm Storm Zing, and that's my opinion.